Good afternoon, Mount Tabor, and welcome to WMTH News. Today is Thursday, November 10th, and I'm President Teddy Christakis. I'm President Bon Craver. Wait, Teddy, did you say today was Thursday? Yep, that's right, Bon. It's Thursday. There's no school tomorrow. That's right, folks. Tomorrow we do not have school because our nation will be celebrating, celebrating Veterans Day. Everyone, get out there and hug a veteran or something. I, for one, want to express my dearest gratitude to all veterans and the service they have given us. Thank you, veterans. True that, Bob. True that. Speaking of tomorrow, here's our weatherman with the weekend weather. Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Eliza, and we're here for your Spartan weather. Um, today the high is going to be 67, and the low is going to be 39, and it's going to be sunny. And then Friday the high is going to be 68, and the low is going to be 41, it's going to be sunny. And Saturday it's going to be 56, and the low is going to be 31, it's also going to be sunny. And Sunday it's going to be sunny, 62, and 36. And so... On this Veterans Day weekend, you should hug a veteran. Hug a veteran. Hug a veteran, and then have a wonderful long weekend. Thank you, weather guy. Bond, I just remembered something from the news. Oh, about the uh, Wake football team? No, Bond, the presidential election. Oh, yeah. Gary Johnson, the 45th president of the United States. No, Bond, Donald Trump won. Wait, really? Nah, you're just messing with me. As crazy as it sounds, I'm not joking. Donald Trump is our next president, and hopefully our nation will be safe and unified. Wow, America really deleted Hillary off the ballot, just like those emails of hers. So ironic. Too soon. Too soon. Sorry, Teddy. Sorry, Hillary. Hey, Vaughn, why don't we go around and ask the people of Mount Tabor what they think of Trump being elected. I'm President Bond Graver. And I'm President Teddy Christakis. And we're here with DeMond. DeMond. We're asking DeMond with yeah. backpack. What do you think about the president's yeah. role election? I'm upset, man. I'm really upset. Really upset? Oh. Oh, poor guy. We're here with Abigail Bonahar. Abigail, how do you think about the election? No comment. <laughs> What do you think about the presidential election? Trump train. Trump train? Trump train. Trump train. On the Trump train. Darrell, what is your opinion on Donald J. Trump as the next president? I don't like him. I like Bernie Sanders. He's a pretty good guy. Interesting. Yeah. Young Danny. Danny, what do you think about the presidential results? Um, I don't like Donald Trump because he says China. It's China. <laughs> what do you think about the election results? I like Trump because he drives a four-wheeler like I do. All right, then. On top of that, here's the amendment we've all been waiting for. Here is Rich Hermie, Andrew Markwalter with the political update. Take it away, Andrew. Hey, Spartans, it's Andrew Markwalter, and here's your political update. President-elect Donald J. Trump has won the 2016 election with a historic upset over Secretary Hillary Clinton. Clinton conceded the race this morning to Trump with her congratulating him on winning the presidency. Right here in North Carolina, Roy Cooper leads Governor Pat McCrory, who is seeking a second term by a narrow margin of 40,000 votes. This race is going towards a recount. Meanwhile, Senator Richard Burr fended off State Senator Deborah Ross by a margin of four points. With that being said, the Republican Party will hold all three branches of the federal government. What a night for the GOP. Now, here's President-elect Donald J. Trump with his take on his big win. Believe me, this is going to be great. I won so bigly. We're going to build that wall, and it's going to be huge. My deviant, Mike P.E.N.S. and me, are going to make America great again. Now I need to go drink some Trump champagne. Believe me, it is the best. Thank you, lightweights. Thank you, Spartans, and have a great week. I sure do love Rich Homies Andrew in America. USA is still the greatest nation around. Exactly. That's it for this week. I hope you all had a fantastic 11th week of school. All of our exciting episodes of the news will be archived on YouTube on the WMTH News channels. Thanks for watching WMTH News. Mount Tabor. Now we leave you with a very special video from 
Major Suggs, and Master Sergeant Kearney. We hope you all have a safe and noble Veterans Day. I love you, Mount Tabor. Remember, Spartans, I don't just have a good one. Have a great one. Veterans Day is a time when Americans stop and remember the brave men and women who have risked their lives for the United States of America. The first Veterans Day was reserved to commemorate the day World War I ended. This happened on the 11th day of the 11th month on the 11th hour. World War I was called the War to End All Wars. I'm sure they thought that too, to World War II. In 1926, Congress voted to officially call November 11th Armistice Day. It became a national holiday in 1938. Soon after the end of World War II, a veteran of that war named Raymond Weeks organized natural, National Veterans Day with a parade and festivities to honor all veterans. World War II had required the greatest mobilization of soldiers, sailors, marine, and airmen in the nation's history. So many men were gone that many women did the job that men would ordinarily do. The Andrews sisters were really popular back then, and here's one of their hits. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. Anyone else but me. Anyone else but me. No, no, no. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. Till I come marching home. In 1954, President Dwight Eisenhower signed a bill proclaiming November 11th as Veterans Day. As Dwight Eisenhower said, it is well for us to pause to acknowledge our debt to those who paid so large a share of freedom's price. As we stand here in grateful remembrance of the veterans' contributions, we renew our conviction of individual responsibility to live in ways that support the eternal truths upon which our nation is founded and from which flows all its strength and all its greatness. In 1968, Congress tried to change it so that Veterans Day would always fall on a Monday like they did with Lincoln and Washington's birthday. People like the significance of the date 11-11. This is Clyde Bowling, the first soldier from Forsyth County to be killed in World War I. He is Mrs. Urig's great uncle. She never knew him, though, because she is not that old. Are you sure? Yes. Clyde Bowling would be like 150 today, and Mrs. Urig's not even 100. The American Legion Post 55 on Miller Street is named after him. Branches of the service in the, in the military are the Army, the Navy, Air Force, the Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard. Other countries honor their veterans too. Canada, Australia, and Great Britain refer to their holidays as Remembrance Day. Canada and Australia observe the day on November 11th, and Great Britain conducts their ceremonies on the Sunday nearest to November 11th. And now here are a few of the Table family veterans.
just one. 